How to do, y'all? I was recently asked via email a question I thought was really interesting, and that is like, why don't I ever talk about gear? I'm like, I don't know, because I have different preferences for everything I ride with. But I actually did buy something a couple months ago that has turned out to be really good and shockingly really surprised me that I liked it. So I thought I'd jump on and do a quick video about it because there's something that's readily available you can grab on Harley's website that's shockingly good. Thought you might enjoy. So I meant what I said about how I'm, I got different preferences for all kinds of stuff. My jeans are typically Wrangler because they fit fat guys best. You know, is what it is. Uh, boots, gloves. I don't really wear gloves. I know I should, but I just don't. If I have uh, gloves in the in the, the bag of the bike for when it gets cold, they're typically like snap-on tool gloves or something I picked up at Harbor Freight or, you know, something just take a little bit of the sting off because I live in Florida. I only get cold hands at night up in Sturgis. Typically warm here all the time. Sorry. So gloves are not a thing. Shirts, we all love Dixon flannels. Can't wear them in Florida. Too damn hot. So I'm basically wearing t-shirts from Beltwell or Harley or lowbrow lead sled tc bros blah, blah blah you know whatever thing you see online you're like that's cool so that's what i'm typically writing in, in a pair of wrangler jeans uh, a t-shirt from someplace a ball cap that has a nice intellectual property violation around right the front of it uh and then boots are typically doc martens it's what i've worn since grade school junior high Th 35 years i've worn doc martens ever since i was a kid all different colors and da 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 But I typically wear the old 1460, I think it's the model number. I even know the model number. Um, it's the kind of boots that I wear all the time. I have black ones, I have red ones, because you have to have some flair sometimes. Uh, you know, stuff like that. So that's what I wear. I wear Doc Martens all the time. But my black Docs are now 10 years old and were runt. And I didn't have my red ones yet. They were wore out. And over Christmas season last year, I didn't know that my wife had ordered me a brand new pair of red Docs. So what I did in December was order a pair of boots off of Harley's website that I saw come up on a promo that I thought looked kind of cool and the price wasn't bad. Uh, docs are, I typically pay around a hundred and a half to even 200 for them because I buy the British ones. Um, they're better, you know, I, I don't want to tell you. Um, so that's typically a hundred and a half to 200 is what I pay for a pair of Docs. Uh, I have tried Red Wings in the past. And by the way, let me stop. Comment down below your favorites because I am a creature of habit. I typically find something I like and then that is all I will own until the day I die. Like that's just the way I am. Thus the Harley Davidson problem that I have. Um, so comment down below your favorite boots because I know everyone typically has, that's something that they're like hardcore on, right? Like I know guys that'll only wear Red Wings. I have friends that only wear Docs like I do. I have friends that will only wear Harley boots. I, you know, fine. I don't typically do a lot of MoCo gear, uh, except for the rain gear. I think their rain gear is really good. I really do. Like uh, we each have Harley rain gear and we ride in Florida. That's a thing. And uh, it's really, really good stuff. So I do think Harley has good rain gear. Um, but boots, historically, I think, and I don't mean this to be offensive, I think that Harley boots are typically built for the occasional rider and not as often a rider. If you ride a lot and long distances and all weather, you typically want a, a work boot. You want a boot that's meant for someone to beat up every day in a construction site, uh, for example, in docks. While they're not Red Wing strength, Doc Martens are pretty damn good. Red Wings are expensive, man. You're talking like 300, 350 for a pair of square toes, you know? Uh, I did try those before. They just didn't feel right on me, so that's why I went back to docks. But let's get into these boots that I found in Christmas. I uh, ordered them. I think I received them in January. I didn't need them at Christmas or anything, so it's not like anything was wrong. Uh, I think I received them in January. I've now owned them six months-ish and have abused the hell out of them. And I'm telling you right now, these might be my favorite boots I've owned in a long time. Forgive the background mess. I, I, I have an RV. And those of you who are RVers know, of course you've got water jugs, gas tanks, uh, something that you can retrieve things from the front of your be the bed of your truck. A scrubber you can use to scrub it. The rug that has to go outside. Uh, cleaner for it, a pump for... I mean, like, literally, if you... And this is a spout for one of the guys. If you own an RV, you just got crap in the bed of your truck because you need so much stuff. I digress. Sorry. So, these are the Hagermans. So, again, I'll put a link and all that stuff. I don't have 
any affiliation or any discount codes or that stuff, I apologize. But these boots are six months old. And as you can see, they've been worn. You know, and I'll talk a little bit about my favorite stuff and some stuff that I would change. But I just wanted to share that these are good, like really good. If you're in the market for a pair of boots, I just checked the website. Right now, the price is 170 on them. They're not on sale or anything, and I don't think they're included in the Father's Day stuff. But, yeah, so it's got some stuff coming apart. But anyway, um, so these are the Hagrams. They're $170. I have probably got 5,000 miles on a bike in those. And then I wear them a lot working in the garage, too. And I've got, and of that 5,000 miles, crap, probably 15% has been heavy thunderstorms, as you can see why some of the dye is working its way out. You know what I mean? So uh, this is not a point of perfection. This is actually like the Hagerman, you wear them for six months and you beat the hell out of them. This is what they're going to look like. So the reason why I'm putting, getting on here and saying I love these and I think you should get a pair, even though they look beat up, is because they're so freaking comfortable like this is a fantastic boot i don't i don't know man like i don't know what they got right this time but these are really really good uh and, I, and i've really enjoyed them they're incredibly comfortable now things i don't like because there's always something you don't like i don't like that i don't i don't need the little metal medallion you can't feel it, it doesn't bother you it's padded behind it so it's not like it's a thing when you're wearing them but i my, my boot doesn't need a hood ornament, all right? That's, you know, I'll give you that. This is fine. It says HD embossed there on the heel. Fine, that's cool. This, no. Uh, things I don't like, although I have not been proven right about this, I have always been suspect of Harley, uh, their zippers, right? I feel like these break off, right? And I'm looking there and it's fine. It's not bent or anything. But, I mean, it's, it's, it's aging well. Uh, also, let me back up for a second. I think if I get a year to 18 months out of these, I've got my money because I am really hard on boots. So if they last that long, they're worth 170 bucks. I think. You tell me in down below if you think I'm wrong. But the zippers, I'm typically suspect of those. Um, that's just a thread sticking out. They're not coming apart. Oh, that's just funk. Great. Um, so the zipper's holding up fine. The actual handle's still on there. It's not coming off. It's not getting weak, so that's okay. Uh, so I'm not a big fan of the concept of a zipper that isn't made by like a heavy boot company or something like that. Um, but again, I guess if the zipper does go bad, you could zip it up and then just, you know, lace it. These are real well made. They're riveted on the, the what are these called? I'm not a boot person. The, 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 the rings there that the, the laces go through. Uh, something else I'm not a big fan of. This I'm sure was a fashion designer. Why is there a pad on the right boot? I mean, the left one's genius, right? It's where your shifter goes. I don't remember ever having to get under the brake pedal to, like, unbrake. You know, like, I don't, I don't think that's a thing. Someone comment if you can ever think of a time why you need reinforcement on your right toe. Probably a fashion designer got in, involved there and was like, well, no, no, it has to be symmetrical. You don't want asymmetry on your boots. I do. I want the left shift pad, and I want nothing on the right because it doesn't need it. Um, this this here, I think they're trying to mimic the mock toe. You know, like Red Wing mock toes have a big seam around the top. So maybe style-wise, they did that to make it interesting. I actually like this. I think this is cool. It's just interesting. But I, I, that's dumb. I don't need that. You know, take it off. Um, from there, oh, also the white sole isn't incredibly practical. Uh, it does because it's not that super hard stuff. It's it's extru extremely high density foam, but it's not that like rubber stuff that Red Wings have. The reason why is you know cost. I'm sure these would be not 170 bucks if they had the same style rubber sole that a Red Wing has. But because they're slightly porous, they do, as you can see, get dirt in them and stuff. These are this white. This is kind of funny, but I can't remember why where we were going. Maybe it was Daytona. I can't remember. But I came home and my soles were all white. And I'm like, what is that about? <laughs> Mrs. Monkey had actually been cleaning up her tennis shoes or something like that. And she was like, oh, those look dirty. <laughs> so she actually did put like tennis shoe whitener you know, <laughs> on the side of my soles. So they did look like that. That kind of yellowy brown. And then she went and did that, which is nice. You know, they look a lot nicer after she did that. But anyway. This is not a long-term, you know, long video review or anything, but 
I got emails saying, why don't you ever talk about boots and stuff? And it's because I just never thought it was that interesting. But then I looked over in the corner and saw those sitting there and thought, well, that's interesting because I bought those as sort of a stopgap and they turn out to be really freaking good. So anyway, these are the Hagemans. They're $170 on Harley's website right now. I'll put the link. I don't have a code. I don't have an affiliation or anything like that. But there you go. So there you have it and there you are. I promise that on this channel... You will see me do videos about things that I think are legitimately good that I think that you would enjoy and get some good use out of. Those boots are a good example. I, I don't have any sponsorship or anything from that. That's not where it's coming from. I bought those that paid for them. I've worn the crap out of them. I've shown that they have aged and worn, but for what I've put them through, I think it's pretty decent for six months, right? Anyway, I think you like those. Let me know what you think down below. If you're not a subscriber, please do hit subscribe. That's all we ever asked for and a thumbs up and all that stuff tonight. Night, night. Nice. Love y'all to death. Take care of each other out there. We'll talk real soon. Bye.